And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. You will see how he performs tonight. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter, holding the professional record now. 25 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Melbourne, Australia, Daniel Kelly! And now he turns his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC middleweight championship is on the line. All right, first round is underway, so as a submission specialist, you know what he's gonna be trying to do here, Joe. Somehow, some way, take the striker down, set up his submission attempts. That is his bread and butter. We'll see if he can execute here tonight. Big Superman punch. And he gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh! Head kick there, blocked by Kelly. Wow! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He's got him hurt here. Oh, straight right. Good defense there. Oh, slips to avoid the right. 
Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. This could be it. He didn't miss with that uppercut. Lands a giant kick. The big right hand. Kick to the head, lands, he's stunned. Man, has his chin been tested early. He's doing a great job of blocking things oh, here. Oh, oh. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice inside leg kick there. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh, attacked him. He is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Huge uppercut misses. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. There's a nice inside leg kick. So he'll walk back to his corner here. We'll see if they can get him physically, mentally back into the fight. What a moment at the end of that round. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Incredible round with several moments where it looked like it might be over. Brittany Palmer doing fine work, as usual. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. Oh, big shot. He's got him hurt here. Oh, 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 oh. Huge right hand. But that one really hurt him. Joe, safe to say he wasn't stalling or looking for a referee stand-up. He was looking to pound his opponent's head through the canvas, and he nearly did so with some of those hammer fists, man. He wasn't trying to score. He was trying to put an exclamation point on a most dominant performance here tonight, and he certainly did that as he ends the fight by knocking. Check it out again. Bam! And good night. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at 27 seconds at round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight, and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible.